We concentrate on technique now with a precision guide to throwing the javelin with Germany's Olympic hopeful, Thomas Roller. The javelin is all about technique. It's about getting speed into coordination, getting a lot of single movements into one big movement. You need to know how to get the power you have into the throws. The only goal we have is to make the javelin fly far. When you get on the street and ask people, what do you think is important for javelin? Ah, oh, it's a strong arm. Oh, it's not a strong arm. It's about the combination of every single movement. 80% is from the body and 20% is from the arm. My coach, is, uh, he always said it's, it's about hand-eye coordination in the javelin because we need to control the tip. We see the tip right here and our hand needs to do it somewhere there. We don't see the hand. And the table tennis, which we use for warm-up, is almost the same. We see the ball coming quickly, so we need to react quickly. The javelin technique is that the point needs to point to the, to the direction I throw every second I'm standing on the run-up. I don't have the opportunity to do movements where my back moves a 90 degree angle to the direction I throw. There is no rotation moves or anything possible. What the arm does, that makes the javelin fly. I don't produce power, but I produce the, I do the precision with the arm. We're going to start with them sticking throws, so we will have a short arm just to get the, the feeling for the tip for the javelin and then we will continue with some more power, more speed, but first it's about the feeling. I'm having a look at the flight of the javelin. It's easy to control myself because I see what I'm doing. So the next thing we're going to do is to get a longer arm, so it looks more like the competition javelin throw. The elbow is getting involved into the throw, so we lift the elbow more, get a longer way, and by that we will throw much, much further. The javelin is a high precision implement. Every competition they are measured, they are weighted. The center of gravity of the javelin itself is on a specific point. It helps to make the javelin land, and it helps to make the javelin not fly too far as it did before when the first world record was 104 meters and it got dangerous for the high jumpers. The grip to grab a javelin tight is quite important to get the power on the javelin. So the way I do it is to put my pointing finger right behind the, the cotton grip here and wrap the other fingers around and the thumb helps me to control the, the angle of the javelin. So now we will use our feet to make the javelin fly even further. The foot just produces speed first and then they put the power from the run-up into the javelin by blocking. First of all, we start with the right foot in front, put the left one in front, put the right one there. But here we see something really important. So the right foot is really pointing to the, to the way we want to throw. You get all the power in here. So we will do one more of those, one more, and then we're good to go to throw. One of the key points in javelin is the block. So we come from the right foot, which comes here really straight, and then we block straight again. The best thing is if there's a 180 degree angle here, nothing happening in the knee, just block. And that's what happens when we come from the full run up. There's uh, the final line, the line where I have to do the throw before. And uh, then we have the sector where the javelin has to land in. We can run up wherever we want, how long the stadium is, the long we can go. When I throw like three meters before the line, they're gonna measure it on the line. If I throw on the line, they're gonna measure it on the line. It's my decision where to throw and how many meters I need. If you start thinking about the line, you will break too early. You will lower your speed in the run up. You will think about the line that you wanna stop. But javelin is all about one direction and full power. I look at some point, some in, far away in the distance. It's important that the point I look at is quite far away from me, so the angle doesn't change when I run up 30 meters. That helps me to get the right angle for the conditions in competition. I just love to see what I did. I'm one of the only sports where I perform, and then I can watch my own work, because it's flying there, it's flying quite long, and if it's flying a long time, then I did a good job, and it's going to be probably a good throw.